Uh, good day, students. In the last video, we looked at international time zones, and what I tried to persuade you is the best way to find out the time in another country is to just Google it or use Google to bring up a, a, a time zone converter. Um, if you're looking at Australian time zones, um, it's a little bit easier because there's only three different time zones and we really only have to worry about daylight savings time. So let's just show, let's ignore daylight savings time for this exercise and uh, just go ahead and work out how we can work out times in different parts of Australia. So in Australia, we have the Eastern time zone and that covers Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne and Hobart and Canberra. So five of the major cities in Australia are all in the same time zone. The central time zone has Darwin, Alice Springs and Adelaide. So basically South Australia and the Northern Territory and the Western time zone has all of Western Australia. And really all you need to know is the central standard time, which is Darwin, Adelaide, Adel sorry, Darwin, Alice Springs and Adelaide is about a half an hour earlier than places in the Eastern time zone. So if it's uh, 2 p.m. in Brisbane, it's uh, half past one or 1.30 p.m. in Alice Springs and Western time zone, so Perth and other places in Western Australia are two hours earlier. So if it's two hours in Brisbane, sorry, if it's 2 p.m. in Brisbane, it's going to be on noon in Perth. So that makes it pretty easy. And as I said, the only other, the only complication to all of that is if there's daylight savings time. Okay, if it's 3 p.m. in Melbourne, what time, sorry, if it's 3 p.m. in Melbourne, what time is it in Perth? Well, all we have to do there is say it's two hours earlier. So two hours before 3 p.m. is, whoops, need to get my pen tool, is 1 p.m. Okay, and working the other way, if it's 7.10 a.m. in Perth, what time is it in Darwin? Well, if that's a two-hour time difference and that's a half-hour time difference, that's one and a half hours. And it's going to be earlier in Perth, later in Darwin, so we have to add one and a half hours. So 7.10 a.m., 8.10 a.m., 8.40 a.m. So overall, Australian time zones are pretty simple because there's only three time zones to worry about. Okay, let's just try one last question. If a plane leaves Brisbane at 9.30 local time and arrives in Alice Springs at 1300 local time, how long has the trip taken? So basically we've got the problem that these two times are in different time zones. So probably the best way to do it is to just pick either only work on times in Brisbane or only work on times in Alice Springs. That makes it pretty easy. So I'm gonna work on Alice Springs. So the plane leaves on Alice Springs, sorry, Alice Springs time. It leaves, well, it's a half an hour earlier. So when it's 0930 hours in Brisbane, it's 0900 hours in Alice Springs. And it arrives in Alice Springs at 1300 hours Alice Springs time. So the secret is um, first, first convert them to the same time zone and therefore it takes four hours since nine plus four is 13. And I think that's about all we need to do with um, time zones in Australia.